long-term effects of untreated toe walking. So if we don't get to see them sooner and it's later and later and they've been walking on their toes longer and longer, you have shortened calf musculature. So their calves get really, really tight because they're up in their toes the whole time. They can have bony changes in their feet. So if you guys can see this picture of the x-ray I have, because they're up on their toes all the time and they're, they don't have that flat foot contact, it's not like a stable base. So their toes spread out to almost like grip the floor and give them like a wider point of contact, but the bones will spread with them too. So that's causing bony changes, which um, makes it even more difficult to get into shoes and also is going to cause pain in like arthritis later. They have poor balance because they're really only up on their tiptoes. I mean, if you tell anybody to stand up on your tiptoes, you can't really do it for that long. So they have poor balance all the time because they're always there. Um, they have delays and impair impairments and motor milestones. So we're talking about running like we were talking about earlier, jumping, getting participate in sports because they have this poor balance and they don't have that mature gait pattern. They're not able to get those experiences of improving kind of like their motor milestones. They have an altered sense of their legs. So imagine if you're on your toes all the time and your, and your knees mostly are straight, your legs feel very different under you and you feel very different if you try to put them in different positions. So if you're so used to being in one position for so long, you're gonna have an altered sense of what's below you. It can lead to chronic foot, knee, hip, and back pain. So like we said, if you're up on your toes all the time, that impacts your toes, your ankle, your knee joint, your hips and your back, and it's gonna put a stretch or kind of a tautness on that whole muscle chain. So it can lead to bony changes throughout and it can cause that kind of chronic pain. Um, they have de decreased overall range of motion. So like I said, if it causes that tightness in the muscles, you're gonna get a limit in those joints and you have that altered sense of your legs. So you don't wanna put it in a position that it's not used to. So it's gonna further restrict that joint range of motion. They have a decreased strength or yeah, strength of legs in their abs. So if you only use your legs up on your toes, kind of in that straight position, you're only getting a little bit of the range that the muscle is allowed to do. And since you can't go running or jumping, you don't get that strength building experience. So your muscles really aren't put to as much use as they can get. And so they get weak over time and they don't get to their full strength. Um, and your core holds everything together. So if your core has to follow what your legs are doing, it's also not gonna be that strong because it's it's only used to being in this position and it doesn't get that experience of kind of moving around. Um, they have a higher risk of frequent injuries of the ankles and the knees. So like I said, you're up like that, your ankle's pretty vulnerable. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I roll my ankles all the time. So imagine if you're up on your toes like that, it's not a stable position. As soon as you try to turn, you can roll your ankle and your knee goes with it. They have poor endurance. So because they're not running and they're not getting those motor milestones are building that strength, they can't build up their ability to keep up with their peers. So they're gonna get tired pretty quickly. It's not an efficient way of walking and it's not a super safe way of walking. So their body doesn't have the ability to build up the endurance to do the things that they wanna do. And they have difficulty participating in daily activities because they're kind of stuck in this pattern. I mean, you can't go play soccer with your friends or maybe riding a bike is difficult or, you know, climbing on the jungle gym because your foot, they can't get their foot into that like little rock to get up the playground. So it has a lot of long-term effects. And the goal, especially with PT is addressing all these things and getting the kid to get the most out of life and to participate as much as they can. So to sum up toe walking, there could be a lot of different reasons a child toe walks and toe walking consistently or past the age of two is atypical and can lead to unfortunate long-term effects. So there's a bunch of reasons, but the good news is PT is pretty good at finding these and addressing these. So I'll bring you to the next slide. So physical therapy and toe walking. PTs are trained to evaluate the entire patient. We are trained to narrow down the potential causes and impairments of your child, like we discussed earlier to develop the individualized treatment plan best suited to address your child's toe walking.